silicone caulk does not dry like conventional painter's caulk does. It's not a process of water leaving the caulk. It's instead a process of the silicone and oxygen chemical bonds being exposed to moisture, to water in the air. So drying doesn't actually happen for silicone caulk. It's a curing process and it needs to be exposed to humidity and air for that process to happen. So there really isn't any way to speed up the drying of silicone caulk. The only thing you can do is to help the curing process. For that, you can do two things. You can buy a silicone caulk that has special additives that make it cure a bit faster. That'll be right there on the label. Also, you can make sure that you follow the directions for the exact specific brand and formulation of silicone caulk that you get. The directions are there for a reason. The folks who make whatever brand or type or specific kind of caulk you buy don't want you to bring it back to the store and they want you to buy more in the future. So even though the directions are really small, can be hard to read, follow the direction. In general, the best way to get silicone caulk to cure as quickly as possible is to make sure that you apply it in a warmer temperature and in a slightly more humid environment, which seems counterintuitive. But again, since silicone cures through exposure to humidity in the air, you don't want to put a fan on it. You don't want to run the air conditioner. You don't want to have the air be too dry, and you also don't want the air to be too cold. Probably an ideal environment would be 75 to 80 degrees on a summer day. That might be a little bit uncomfortable, so most silicone caulk formulations are formulated to cure as quickly as they can at around room temperature with normal humidity. But don't put a fan on it. Certainly don't put something like a hair dryer on it because that will just impede the curing process. And especially with a hair dryer, it might melt it, which then makes you very sad. 